the day after his wife, Yinka Odumaki, Joe Odumaki has continued to receive friends and allies of her late husband. Plus TV Africa correspondent Kai Adelaide spoke with a human rights activist and shared his last moment, uh, the efforts battling COVID-19 complications. For those close to the couple, Nienka and Joe Dumaki, it has been many years of social and political activism and limelight. Little is known about their romance. This death has rather brought to the open the deep bond they shared for about 24 years. A Herculean task, sharing my last moments with my comrade, my better half. The whole, you know, thing started around the, around March. It's one of the reasons why I kept it, you know, to my chest is that I wanted Nika himself to tell the story because that would be better and that would be sweeter. It's only something for his iPad. He wants to write. He wants, and I know it will be soothing for him. And I was looking forward to that. So. A day before this tragic incident, honestly, I never even, I never believed that he can meet him at Alagbo and being there together and knowing how he can is. Because it's difficult to, it's so difficult for me to start using past tense for him. I mean, after been together for 24 years. She narrates her husband's continued battle with COVID-19 complications and his resilience to see a new Nigeria in spite of his deteriorating health conditions. And he has a series of appointments that he wanted to make. But unfortunately, he went to his, uh, is it for unfortunately now? He, he went to his uh, physiotherapist and then uh, found out that his oxygen level had dropped to 70 something, but he still left and went for those meetings. Um, I was called. I followed him up. After following up, the doctor had, after attending to him, I mean, found that, that uh, he had COVID and then was transferred to Lagos University Teaching Hospital to the isolation center. The next day, he suddenly dropped a bit, so we had to move to, we had to move to uh, Main Large Hospital. That's, uh, uh, yes, Ayaba. But all the medication were given to him, and after a few days, he was tested, he was positive. Then thereafter, after a few days again, he was tested, he became negative. Some friends and allies recount Yinka's principled stand on the state of the nation and the need to uphold the legacy. We lost a pillar in the struggle that I don't think we can get it back in a very short time and make sure that the we that still remain on heart continue where it stopped the struggle. It was a great shock because we never heard of him being sick and uh, there was no inkling that uh, he's even you know, bedridden under whatever condition. I decided to come on behalf of the Corps Marshal and the entire family of Federal Safety Corps to come and you know, console her as one of us and to also pray that God will take care of those that are left behind. Until his death, it was very vociferous against the headsman menace and the quest to have a restructured Nigeria giving more power to federating units to develop at their own pace. Kaya Deladeinde, Plus TV Africa.
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.